so uh, today I'm welcoming you to a tutorial which will be showing off the basics of how to use the Bezier Corv in Blender by drawing uh, up a custom Batman logo that I'm actually just going to design on the spot. Um, so that's how easy this kind of whole Bezier Corv is to use. So first of all what you want to do is clear your stage and to do this just right, uh, right click everything and then press the X key and then click delete. So once your stage is clear you want to press 5 on the numpad um, and this will bring it into orthographic view and then 7 on the numpad to bring it into top down view so just so that we can look straight down onto the curve and see everything that's going on so the next thing that you want to do is add in the curve and do this you hold on shift and press the A key and hover over curve and then press busier so as you can see this adds in our curve and this is what it should look like at first but um, we can't edit it in this mode so to change modes into edit mode press the tab key and once you press that, the curve starts to look a little bit confusing. So, um, these little arrows that point along uh, the direction it's going tend to get a bit confusing for some people. So, if you want to turn those off, you can by pressing the end key, and you can see your little menu saying curve display display comes up here, and untick normal, and that should get rid of them. So you can press the end key then once that's done, and that will make the menu disappear. So I'm just going to quickly break down the curve. Um, these little orange dots on either end of the curve are the points and you can change the position of these to change where the curve actually goes so let's say we want to position this point at the center and this point up here um, that's actually not directly on the center to make it directly on the center you hold down shift press the S key and then click section of the grid and we can do the same with this point just to make sure that it's directly on the uh, middle point of each grid well not really the middle point but the kind of crossing point of each grid so um, that's the points, the next thing is the handles and that's the red lines coming out of either side of the um, points and this just changes the direction of the curve depending on which um, direction it's facing and uh, how drastic the curve is depending on how long you drag them out so you can edit them in any way you want and to confirm and edit just left click so again right, dra uh, right click and drag to change um, the handle in any way and left click to confirm or right click to um, cancel so as you know I uh, might notice from messing around with this a little bit which I encourage you to do um, the handle on the opposite side so this is one handle and this is the other and the handles opposite each other and um, they automatically stay in line with each other and this is just the default type of handle that it uh, has placed but you can change this by right clicking the handle and pressing the V key and then selecting the vector and that means that I can bend this one this way and this one this way and so on you can bend them pretty much any way you want uh, and just for the back one logo we're going to need this for most of our points so again turn this one vector and make this point straight up and again with the handles not just the points you can hold on shift and press S and selection the grid and curve this one down a bit here shift S selection the grid so make whatever shape you want um, I'd say for your first time making uh, a curve and um, you should make a symmetrical one along the y axis and um, this will make the tutorial a bit easier later on but to add another point just select where you want it to be added on and press the E key for extrude and it will basically duplicate this point and you can get the uh, drag it around and left click wherever you want it to be placed so let's say I want it placed here shift S selection the grid and just pan down here a bit and mess around with the handles a bit so maybe here I'm going to want these this a bit so we have this shape and again E for extrude and place this here selection the grid just mess around with this curve a bit and point this a bit this way I want to make it look a little bit different than most black logos so again E for extrude and just keep going along till you get a shape that you are happy with um, so again if you're making a symmetrical shape which means that it's the same if you cut it in half this way it's the same with this side as it is on this side um, just make the right hand side half of it and then I'm going to show you what to do after that
Okay, so once you make a shape that you're happy with, which I have here, if you're not sure if you're happy with it, you can press tab again to go back into object mode and just get a kind of clearer look at what the shape looks like. Um, once you have a shape that you're happy with, you can stay in object mode and the next thing that you want to do is press shift and then D to duplicate and you see the li uh, line, line will go white and then press enter and then we want to mirror it by pressing control M and then X and if that doesn't work out for you which for some reason on this computer it's not working for me you just click mirror and then X and then enter and then just reposition it so it looks a little bit better save it there that looks pretty much symmetrical so as you can see these are actually two different curves like if I tab into here we can only edit this one not this one so what you want to do is uh, stay in that object mode select one by right clicking it select the next by shift right clicking it and then pressing control and J and that will make it all one curve like you can edit them all at the same time and um, just a little bit of a gap here so to connect that up we right click this point then shift right click this point and press F for fill and we get this shape now I don't want this bump here so what I'm going to do is just bring this down on here press shift S selection the grid and do the same with this one shift S selection the grid and that should give us um, a pretty even shape so again make sure you're in uh, edit mode right click shift right click and F for fill and that's uh, this is going to be the tail but as you can tell we need another point right here and to do that what you want to do is pre um, make sure you're back in edit mode and if you come down to modeling you'll see subdivide and this will add a third point here and you just want to select this point and grab the green arrow and drag it down to go here shift S section the grid and again edit the handles until you're happy shift S section the grid shift S selection the grid and shift S selection the grid you don't have to do it just means that it's more um, symmetrical the whole shape ends up more symmetrical so and just makes it look better overall so this is the shape I have it's just a, it's, a, it's quick it's um, at least symmetrical it's just a um, quick shape that I made which I think looks cool so and um, that's pretty much the shape done so that's as far as you want to go that's fine you're doing this tutorial but we can go on to this fifth step if you will which will be turning this into an actual object because right now it's just kind of a path and to do this you come over to the properties panel on here on the right and you can see this little curve shape click that we have all these different options to edit the curve so first thing you want to do is make it 2d and it should uh, be filled in now and uh, you can edit it in a number number of different ways make sure you're in top down view you can extrude which will just make it a little that little bit thicker if you go uh, sideways you can see it makes it a little bit bigger maybe you want to make a batarang this is the way to do it um, and you can give it a little bit of a bevel to make it um, which is just like a little indent on the sides which is kind of a kill cool design so if you want you can do that but let's say you want to turn it into an image what I recommend is you bring this all the way up and uh, yeah, just make sure you have everything deleted on the stage. Now I want to get rid of this bevel just because it makes it look a bit rounded off and I don't want that. So we add a camera, it doesn't matter where it is right now. And what we're going to do is um, make the camera point at our current view. And to do this you hold down control and alt and press zero on the numpad. Click camera here and then this camera and just click orthographic. And this is where you want to shift the cameras. Um, angle so make sure you have the kind of video camera selected and you can select different just position it along the y and x axis and the shape that you want and the orthographic scale make sure you pick orthographic it just makes it look a lot better um move on the x orthographic kind of zooms in and out a bit so you know what I'm gonna say there so zero on the numpad and that should get rid of that and as you can see the camera will be directly facing over it just like that it's aiming directly on, on the uh, Batman symbol and the next thing we do is click it here <coughs> and what you want to do is up here in the top 
set up blender render click cycles render and change the color of whatever you want the background of the image to be um, I want it to be pitch black just because people look kind of cool and you want to right -slip, select the shape that you have in my case the Batman symbol click materials new and again in cycles render change the surface to emission and I'm going to go with kind of a grey colour I suppose so that's that and we have everything set up so once you have everything set up the way you want you can press F12 to test the image and um, that's the image that I have made so it's a completely custom design Batman although it's probably not the best one ever but it's custom design anyways so yeah play around with that shape a little bit and uh, play around with that tool a little bit and hopefully you get used to it so uh, thanks for watching